Hi, in this video, I want to talk about how I take measurements inside of Blender. Now, I do this quite often because I make real world scale objects and I like everything to be as precise as possible. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to add a cube mesh and then I'm going to open the sidebar by pressing N and go to item and then under dimensions. And this tells you the most basic dimensions of your objects in X, Y and Z. And that'll tell you if you're getting close to the scale that you want to be in. Now, it doesn't tell you any other detail aside from that. So if you want more detail, you can go into edit mode. And if you have the overlays turned on like this, uh, that's done through the overlay menu. And under measurement, you can enable all these here or disable and enable whatever ones you choose. I'm just going to select all of them so I can talk about them at the same time. And then I'll go into face select by pressing three and just select one face to clean this up. Okay, so the blue numbers, that's essentially the angle at which this edge and this edge meet right here. So it's 90 degrees and same for the other three corners. The 2M in black, that is the length of this edge here. The light green 90 degrees, that is the angle at which this face and this face meet. And then the dark green is the area of this particular quad. Now there are some limitations to the overlays. For instance, it doesn't tell you the distance between these two points here without adding a geometry. So if you want to do that, you could just fill that and then you can get the, the measurement there. But I don't, I don't like adding geometry just to get a measurement, right? And the other limitation is you can't measure between one vertex here and a vertex in another object, right? So those are the two limitations. It does give you a ton of details about a particular face and edge and angle and everything. It's great, but let's go ahead and talk about the other way to measure. I'll go into object mode and that's through the measure tool. Now to use this, if you want to put a ruler in the scene, you just left click, drag, and release. And then we can get the measurement between those two points. This isn't exactly how you want to do that. The measurement tool is based on the perspective of the camera, at least when you insert a ruler in that in that particular way. If we start scrolling around, you'll see that it's not even close to being in the spot that we wanted it to be. So I'm going to press delete to get rid of that. There are two ways to fix this. Uh, the first way is kind of sloppy and still a rough estimate, and the second way is much more precise. So let's do the sloppy rough estimate first. I'll press five on the numpad to go into orthographic. I'll press one to go to the top view. Now we can left click and drag again, and that's gonna be somewhat close to the measurement that we wanna get, but still not exact. It's not on the actual vertex here and the actual vertex down here. So let's delete that and go to the most precise method, which is using snapping. Now, when I say snapping, I'm not enabling the snapping globally up here in this menu. I'm just simply holding the control key and you'll see a little circle pop up. Now it can snap to the faces. It can snap to the edge and it can snap to a vertex. And in our case, we want to snap to a vertex. So I'll hold control, left click and drag while still holding control and then release left mouse button. And then there you go. There's the precise measurement between those two points. So you can actually add multiple if you want. You can add another one over top and you can do it. This as many times as you want. And then it'll, it'll show the measurements all at the same time. Now you could get pretty sloppy with this and have too much going on at one time like this. So you might want to delete some rulers to delete it. You just need to select it, but it's not quite intuitive. If you select somewhere in the middle, it starts doing something weird. I'll explain that in a second. But if you want to select a ruler, you got to click on either end of it and then press delete or X. So you could just select and delete. And another benefit of selecting here is you can actually reposition it. So if you want to use that same ruler and just repurpose it, you can do that. Okay, now that we know how to move and delete a ruler, how do we 
do the protractor? Well, I kind of showed you a sneak peek there. If you click anywhere along the line here, you can click and drag, it adds a point in the middle, and then you can start measuring angles. Again, this is based on perspective, which is why it looks kind of funky like this. So I highly recommend using snapping again. So hold control, and then you can snap it in the corner. And there's our 90 degree angle. Perfect. So now we can do angles and we can do measurements. But what if you want to go back to a ruler? Well, that's pretty easy. So let's just say I'm going to add another ruler really quick. So all we have to do to convert it back to a ruler is you can select the protractor on either end to highlight it. But if you want to switch back to a ruler, you got to click the middle point and click delete on the middle point, and then it'll go back to a ruler. And then if you press delete again, it gets rid of that ruler. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, let's show that you can measure between two objects, even though it's not much of a demo. I'll still show you anyway, so you can see how easy it is. So let's say I want to measure from here to here. And that's how easy it is just to measure between two objects using the ruler. And again, you can also measure angles between specific aspects of your objects like that. And that's pretty much it. That's the tools that I use inside of Blender to measure objects and get more details. Um, if you have any recommendations about add-ons or anything like that, just put them in the comment section below. I'd love to check them out. For all my videos, I stick to vanilla Blender just so I know everyone's starting on the same page. But I do like checking out add-ons occasionally. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.